Okay, today we're going to be looking at an application um, for the bottling industry. Uh, we want to see if there are missing bottles in this, in this case, a beer case uh, with six beer bottles in it. So, in this case, this would be a good sample. A bad sample would, would look like that, uh, where there's only five bottles or four. Uh, so, basically, any missing bottle. And this um, we're going to try to solve with the Baumer Verisens uh, camera here. In this case, I'm using an XF 800 series camera so this is a 0.3 megapixel so it's not going to have um, the resolution of a 2 megapixel camera but you really don't need that and I'll show you how this works um, so I've set this up where the camera is looking straight down on the case here and the first thing you're going to do is adjust the exposure time so you can see how it gets really dark and then really bright so I'm going to leave it right about there and you can see that the caps are getting washed out here, but that's fine because what we're going to be looking for is um, the white areas here, and we're going to count the areas. There's actually a tool within the software that counts areas within a specified um, region, and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do, like I said, we're going to adjust this so that the caps are really popping and the background is not as bright as the caps. So that's the first thing is to distinguish the caps. All right, so once we got that set, we're gonna look at the edge sensitivity because we are gonna be using a um, part locator tool. So that looks pretty good. We want um, the edges to stand out but not have too much noise in the image. We can uh, turn that on permanently by clicking this button up here uh, with the blue outlines. And now you can see as we move this up, uh, less edges are standing out. This is the edge sensitivity. And if you have it all the way down here, you're picking up all the noise too so we don't want it that low um, so we're gonna set it right about there we're gonna say okay we're gonna go to check features now this is where we're gonna start adding tools and we're really only gonna add two tools uh, the first one I'm gonna add is a part location on contour stool and the way this is gonna work is we're gonna look for um, the whole case so I'm gonna drag this thing over here and it's gonna look for a model that looks like this. Um, I'm going to do a couple things. and You can watch my other videos on how to set this tool up with all its settings. Um, so I'm going to do arbitrary so that it picks up more of the curves. We're going to go fast and I'm going to say teach that. And now we can look at the model editor and you can see it's a little more detailed. The only thing um, that I want to change here is yeah, let's do very low. I think that'll give us a better image. Let's look at it now. Yeah, so the only thing I'm going to change here is um, right now it's including the bottles, but um, in the case that some of the bottles are missing, the correlation score is going to be lower, and we don't want that. So we're going to actually erase the outlines of the bottles so it doesn't pick that up, and it's just going to find the outline of the case. So once we erase all six of these we're gonna have the correct model outline that it's looking for and it's gonna be able to locate our um, case anywhere within the image so we're gonna say that's okay and you can do a better job I'm just doing this for show um, we're gonna say okay and now no matter where that case is you can see as it moves around it's gonna be locating that case and the important thing here is that the correlation score stays fairly low because you can see that this is going to move around um, a little bit depending on um, you know like the way the case is being oriented we're not actually grading how correlated it is um, we just want to locate it so that's why it's going to stay pretty low um, and then the second tool we're going to use is our feature comparison tab here there's a tool called count areas the second one from the bottom and we're just going to drag that over um, the area of the beer case and now there's a couple other settings again you can watch my other video on how to set up all these different settings but I'll just go through here pretty quickly we're gonna do bright on dark so we're looking for bright areas and right now you can see it's picking up nine different areas each one of these beer uh, caps is, is getting picked up and then three here in the middle um, and the way we're going to get rid of these middle ones is we're going to adjust the area filter. So as we bring that up, 
Um, any areas smaller than this minimum threshold are going to get um, eliminated. You can see if I raise it high enough, the actual beer caps are getting eliminated too. So you don't want to raise it too far. So we're going to raise it right there. And now you can see that there's six um, blobs or areas that are being picked up. We're going to teach that to be the correct number. So now there's six. Again, this binary threshold would probably want to raise pretty high um, because these caps, again, are really popping. Um, so they're super white compared to their background. So now it's not going to pick up you know, something that's uh, a little darker, like a gray here. And that's it. So if we say OK, now you can see um, we're picking up six different beer caps. If I m remove one, now it's only going to be picking up five if we double click on that. Now you can see there's five different beer cans being picked up. Um, and if I replace it, now there's six again. And that's really all there is to it. You can do this with six, 12, and uh, 24 cases. Um, same tool. It's really simple. Um, you really just need those two tools. And you can count, uh, this works for beer cans, for sports bottle drinks, anything where the cap is a different color than the background or the case really works well for.